so I feel like it's important that I speak about this before I start the video for any younger viewers or people that are not in the same position as me that may come across this video please don't let this video discourage you from starting YouTube if that's what you want to do and that's why you searched what you searched to find this video YouTube isn't about the equipment you have or the setup that you have it's mostly about your personality, your enthusiasm and your ability to entertain people and offer something in their life that they didn't have before they came across your content. So please take that into consideration. If you are considering starting a YouTube channel, you should do it. You don't need any of the stuff. Well, you don't need all of the stuff that I have. All you need is a games console, a capture card, a TV and something to edit on, whether that be a PC or a laptop. If you have a PlayStation 4 or a 5, you don't even need a capture card because the console records the footage for you so please take that into consideration if you are considering starting your own youtube channel you should 100 go ahead and do it don't let this video discourage you don't let any other setup video discourage you and don't be intimidated by the subscriber counts of larger youtubers focus on yourself and entertain the people that come across your videos because that's what youtube is about at the end of the day it's an entertainment platform Hey guys, it's your boy MD365. With the release of the PS5 on the way, I decided that I'd redo my setup. I did give my old monitor and my old PlayStation 4 to my little brother, but I'm gonna start again. So I'm gonna walk you guys through that, see what I turned this into. Like, there's gonna be a big difference over the next few days. This video will be recorded over a few days. So if you notice any difference in lighting and stuff, it is because it was recorded over a few days. First, I'm gonna start off with what I've already got my asus gaming laptop i'm gonna put the specs for that on the screen now i've got this mouse i think i literally bought that off amazon and then i've got my old um webcam that i used to use on my previous channel so yeah this is the monitor that i've got my monitor is from msi optics it's one millisecond it has a one millisecond reply time it's, it runs on 144 hertz so that should be able to handle the frame rate for the playstation 5 and i've also got the arm for it and then I've also got my cable tidy. So I'm gonna put all of that together over here, probably move a few things around. My room's messy. I wasn't gonna just clean it up and, you know, try and make you guys think I'm something I'm not, but I am gonna sort it out now. So a lot of the stuff that you do see, it will not be on at the end of this recording. I'm literally editing that now. Set up my monitor. Set up my monitor stand. I would not recommend this monitor stand. The screws that came with it didn't fit. I had to go and buy third party screws i can literally show you right here that screw these screws did not come with this i'm going to leave it down so you guys know to <coughs> so yeah i'm currently editing the first part of the video set on my monitor on my monitor stand this monitor stand i would not recommend because it didn't come with the right screw it came with a black screw and the black screws were too small so i had to go out get new screws and bolts and put them together it was a bit irritating so i really wouldn't recommend that i will leave it below in the description though might have been a one-off still jarring and then this is all of my audio equipment so i've got my hyperx microphone here i was going to buy a blue yeti but as some of you may know something's going on with blue right now they have their own dispatching people stuff even amazon estimate they won't be able to dispatch stuff for either two weeks or two months i can't remember the figure but they won't be able to dispatch stuff anytime soon i've got these for my cable management so cable management ties i've got a mobile usb extension i've got a surge protected i think this is important for people i don't know if a lot of youtubers talk about it, but people don't i haven't seen anyone speak about it when you get extension leads please get surge protected ones they're just better they're safer you have a lot of electronics that are going to be hooked up to one or two extensions. You don't want anything happening or anything frying. So at 120% recommend surge protection. And then in this box below it is my microphone stand. So I'll be attaching this to it. This does come with its own stand, but I want one that's facing up. So there's going to be a boom. There's a boom arm in there to be more specific. And then this is my acoustic foam yeah i've got acoustic foam in there and i've got a cable management tray in here so i'd say i'm about eight percent of the way there i've set up my acoustic foam 
I've set up my, my mic on the boom arm and I've also attached the pop filter to it. I might not need the pop filter because this mic does come with a built-in pop filter. So I'm going to test it on the um, software that I'm downloading now to see if it's better with this pop filter or without the pop filter. I've also done my cable management down here. So yeah, that's all sorted nice and neat. The things that and I've also done my additional USB ports here. Definitely going to need that. Um, yeah, what's it called? So I would say right now the things that I do need to buy are the more technical stuff like my capture card and my headset. The headset and capture card, I haven't purchased them yet because the console isn't out as of this recording. So I don't want to buy it and then that stuff is just outdated or it doesn't work as well as it should. The Elgato HD60 S Plus, I think that's what it's called, what they call it, that should work on the next gen consoles but i don't want them to release a new one i just have the outdated one even though i feel like it would be perfectly fine so you never know i might just randomly buy it but yeah i do want to wait until the console comes out before buying that i know i did say that i wasn't going to invest in headsets just yet but i do need one currently for the playstation 4 while i'm speaking to my friends i've decided to just get a hyperx one that matches my setup it also matches the mouse pad that i've got yeah i've never actually owned the mouse pad because i always eat on every desk that I've ever owned and I feel like I will mess up the, the mouse pad with the food or whatever. I have been looking at Astros purely because they come with mix amps. They're really good sound quality. However, they are 300 pounds, 300 something dollars. That's quite a hefty investment, but the mix amp is needed to record through the um, capture cards with the PlayStation 4. I'm holding out and hoping that PlayStation 5 isn't like that. So I'll be able to um, record the chat audio without a mix amp. If I can do that, that will be great. I'll still probably upgrade my headset, but I won't have to spend three, three hundred dollars, three hundred pounds. You know what I mean? That's quite a bit of money. It's a little bit of a hefty investment. Gonna hold on to my money for now. I might also invest in a PC just because I really like this money and I'd like to have two of them side by side, same size, same curve just looking cool i know it's a bit weird for that to be the reason but i'm not really a pc gamer my, my laptop is quite good it, but it did crash while i was editing this video which surprised me it's the first time it's ever crashed on me but i was running sony vegas if that happens a few more times i'm probably gonna have to invest in a pc nothing with crazy high specs just something i'm able to record i mean something i'm able to um edit on freely so yeah if i can do that on it I'll be happy, quick rendering, that's all I really want, quick rendering, not necessarily crazy high, mad frame rate performance, but I would like quick rendering, but I'm sure they do tie into each other one way or another. This computer is no longer able to dual screen, I could do it before, now I can't, I tried to connect it to that to edit this video, and then it wasn't working, so I decided to buy a second monitor. This is gonna be one of these is gonna be for everything PC related, and the other one is going to be for everything console related. The reason I don't know which one is which yet, I have to set up the PlayStation 5 to know what angle I'd rather play from. I played the PlayStation 4 on this angle, but I'd prefer to have it on this screen because of this. This is kind of a bit in my way, do you know what I mean? I was going to put it on the desk, but the only problem is I've got one of these and that would make it hard to put the clamp on the thing because the clamp is kind of like shaped funny. I've tried it. Some people think, yeah, you could have just done that. I've tried it. It didn't work out. I might try something else later on. I'm not too much of a fan of this kind of being in my field of view, but yeah, I can't really do anything about that. Speaking about this, this is the HyperX quadcast i got this with the boom arm from amazon and then i use the hyperx cloud not sure what number i just know that's where it is i've got the google nest that i got from spotify and then i've also got my curse tenor been a bit nervous since this happened it literally just came out of my pocket like that came out of the cash machine took it out of my pocket and that's how it looked but yeah so this is how the setup currently works I will be sorting it out. I have also got new Wi-Fi. This is just a, this isn't the Wi-Fi box. It's an adapter, but it's a super good one. Like the speeds, it's crazy. For someone that's had bad Wi-Fi my whole life, I feel like I'm living in a different world. Some cables there, I'm not done with the cable management. I won't be done until the PC and the PlayStation 5 have both been connected. But so far, it's not too bad. It's like this because I want it like this, so 
yeah i'll sort out later on but yeah this is how everything's currently looking this card keyboard and mouse and more cable clips have arrived i'll be installing this tomorrow when my pc does come i decided to get an external capture card because i feel like elgato will upgrade the internal ones that they have for pcs because things are advancing so much and then they've already got two i wouldn't be surprised if they dropped the third one i got this keyboard um nothing special about it. it's a mechanical keyboard i'm not a pc gamer so that ah oh, i just realized the button layout is the american layout i hope that is not different from the uk layout but yeah and then i've got the steel series wireless free mouse i did want a wireless keyboard but all the good ones cost a lot of money fair enough i'm not going to be gaming on it but at the same time i don't want something that's really cheap that's going to break as well and i will also be giving away one of these capture cards when i reach a certain milestone i'll let you guys know when i've decided when that's going to be it could be 100 subscribers could be 200 could be 500 could be a thousand probably will be a thousand but yeah when i started youtube a capture card was the one thing that i couldn't get my hands on because i couldn't afford it this was years ago my first channel was like seven years ago i was like 13 i just couldn't afford it. it took me months to save up for one so yeah i'm gonna give one of these away to somebody to brand someone's day up eventually so the <coughs> so the main reason that a lot of you guys are here is because of what's so my pc is finally here so my PC is finally here. This is the main reason a lot of you guys are watching this video. This is going to be my first time seeing it. So let's open it up and see what's in here together. Look at this beauty, man. Hopefully the components are still in place. Um, I've got a meeting that I need to get to in the next hour. So I'm going to go shower. I'm going to sort it out. I'm going to unpackage this maybe or maybe not. And I'm going to come back, give you guys the specs, the lowdown. And I'll also give you the information on how long it took for them to build it, how the process was. So before we get to the PC, let's find out what is in this box. I do not know anything about computers. These all look like okay, power so power cable. I don't know about all of I think that's a fan for the processor. Yeah. That's a, ooh. I think I'm gonna leave this for my friends. That's gonna help me upgrade my system when the time comes. I feel like this is all stuff to do with the CPU. I'm not gonna play about it with it too much. This is a bit weird that these things are not inside. Um, these screws are not inside bags because they can literally fall out the side here, which would be annoying if I needed them. But yeah. This is a sticker. Also, this is all motherboard stuff, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's all my motherboard stuff. What's this? <laughs> I'm not reading this. <laughs> Please read. I'm not reading this. No way am I reading that. Oh, I saw something that looked important. Maybe I will read it. Yeah. Possibly. I'm definitely going to upgrade this in the future. So I'm just going to keep all of this stuff to get to, to take it to my friend that's gonna upgrade it for me so he can do it all properly probably don't need the manual but just in case but yeah that's what's inside the box nothing special really it's the only thing that i feel like we need inside this box everything else is already in the pc so the pc comes so please read unscrew the remote side panel Carefully remove the foam insert, replace the secure disk side panel, turn on your new PC. So I guess I'm going to have to take this out. So yeah, my PC is up and running. Everything's running perfectly fine. The PC is not super high tech, but it can get the job done for what I want it to do, which is mainly editing on Photoshop and also Filmora, which is my um, video editing software. 
it runs both of them fine everything's smooth the pc hasn't crashed once at all which is foreign to me because every pc that i've had has its moments of crashing do you know what i mean this one does not crash everything runs smooth it's super quiet like i've got a dehumidifier in my room and the dehumidifier is louder than the pc i do not hear anything from the pc when it is on at all and i love that i love the peace and quiet that i get from it my laptop was louder than this pc all the components are exactly where they should be everything's running as it should be everything's running perfectly fine overall i would say pc specialist done a great job on the build of this pc the specs are in the description but i'm going to put them on the screen now so you guys can see all of the specs Them. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys the drop on PC specialist. I'm going to let you know how long it took for them to build my PC and how well informed they kept me while they were building my PC. So I made my order on the 22nd of October. I got my confirmation on the 22nd of October and I received my first production status update on the 25th of October. In this update, they told me that they expected my build to be done on the 9th of November. And then I got another status update on the 30th, which had pushed it back from the 9th to the 10th. I was like, fair enough. Maybe they don't have the full capacity of staff because of everything that's going on right now. I received my third update on November the 4th, and they said that they'd pushed it back to the 16th. So it went from the 9th to the 16th. That's seven days. That's a whole week in between bills. But like I said earlier, there's a lot going on in the world right now. So I just assumed it was because of that again that they pushed it back and all the regulations that they were probably under so they just pushed my build back i couldn't really do anything about it however my fourth update was actually on the fifth and they said that they, they were building my pc so it got built on the same day and then it was tested on the sixth then i received another email on the sixth saying that it was ready to be shipped and then on the seventh i received the email they said it, it was shipped it took about three to four days to come but i think that's because it was delivered over the weekend i probably didn't choose the next day delivery option i'm only saying this because i do use dpd a lot and they normally do have the next day delivery option but maybe it's because it was shipped over the weekend or the fact that it was a pc made it a bit harder for them to ship next day because of how gentle they have to be i'm not sure other than that i'd 100 recommend pc specialist they're a great company their customer service is a1 it's on point they kept me up to date and then they clearly have very professional staff working for them my pc came intact the build quality is great i would 100 percent recommend using pc specialist they've done a great job for me i believe they would also do a great job for you there are other options on the market i didn't bother exploring them because pc specialist has a great reputation amongst the creator community in the uk so i just went with them and i feel like i made the right choice so yeah i was able to get my hands on the ps5 this is probably the most stressful thing of the whole year i've been up since midnight it's around two o'clock in the afternoon right now i've been trying to get this since midnight i haven't been able to get it online anywhere i was in the country and the pre-orders came out so i missed them i was able to get one i did pay resale a very unfair price i'm not gonna lie but i did want it today i know it sounds mad now thinking of it, it sounds crazy but yeah i'm gonna say it up i'm not gonna do an unboxing of it purely because the video is running longer than i really want it to it might be more than 20 minutes and i really don't want it to be more than 20 minutes i also got an elgato chat link so now you'll be able to hear me and my friends in the party when we're talking bantering entertaining you guys oh i'm giving you guys a quick rundown of what it looks like and how it comes in the Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I don't even know what to say. But yeah, HDMI cable, USB um, controller. <laughs> How did I not know it's a controller? Stand. Funny looking stand. Then the PlayStation. PlayStation. It is beautiful. I'm so happy I was able to get it. Literally, I've been trying for the whole day. John Lewis has been stuck on this for hours. But yeah, this is what it looks like outside the box. I can't do an unboxing. The video will be way too long. I'm so sorry if anybody did want to see one. But there's plenty of great ones on YouTube. And yeah, time for me to show everyone what they've been wanting to see. The montage. Hopefully I...
So yeah, I finally completed building, well, the base of my dream setup. Let's not call this my dream setup just yet. I finally finished the base of my dream setup after a few years. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I finally managed to do it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure that you like. If you do like gaming videos, make sure that you subscribe. This is going to be a gaming channel. I'm not going to have too many videos like this. So if you do like videos that are exclusively like this, this might not be the channel for you. But if you do like gaming content, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.